All right, everyone. So this is my cichlid aquarium and I am running an experiment. So I just introduced pumpkin spice, my massive parrot cichlid, my biggest fish in this aquarium, full of other species of cichlids, uh, as well as other more or less aggressive fish. Um, we have, for example, this uh, rainbow shark. We have a firemouth cichlid uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, some like more peaceful cichlid as well and some um, peacock cichlids that are really beautiful and even breeding. This uh, female, I am expecting some uh, babies fry to be in her mouth. As you can see, she is uh, having a very big uh, chin and she is uh, always trying to avoid provocation from other fish. So the reason why I've introduced actually all the fish from the 44 gallon in this aquarium is because uh, of aggression in this aquarium. I had to switch the hierarchy completely and the uh, culprit for this aggression are in this aquarium, which is now a Embuna cichlid aquarium. So we have uh, two species of cichlid in here. So the two yellow dudes are uh, Kenyai cichlid, which were originally blue, but now they have turned yellow. And this one is the uh, more dominant because of uh, his very bright yellow compared to this one, which is kind of more striped. And then we have um, the Geohani cichlids, which is probably my favorite type of cichlid, uh, especially when they are super beautiful like this one. Uh, but then, you know, there is like more submissive one, which are a bit less colorful. Uh, so that's the other one. And that's the fourth one, which is really, really dull in comparison to uh, this dude and the uh, very bright one. And we also have my big Cynodontis catfish in this aquarium now. I actually bought the 55 gallon aquarium for this fish. But because of aggression, uh, like this one really hate pumpkin spice and the, all of these guys really hate these guys. Uh, I basically had to do the best I could to avoid any conflict um, and any death of my fish because some of these, uh, especially loser right here, he was getting uh, quite nipped and damage and when I so what I started to do uh, my first plan was to place the uh, embunas in here and let pumpkin spice uh, Francois which is the firemouth um, Waterloo my little uh, Corbensis as well as um, Calypso so this one uh, they were all supposed to stay with the embunas in this aquarium because that was their aquarium uh, prior to this moment, but the uh, Embunas, they decided this was their aquarium and they fight for it and they almost kill uh, Francois, which have now a lot of damage on his mouth, but he is recovering um, in this aquarium. But yeah, so these guys, they are crazy bastards hurting everyone. So sometimes the best thing you can do is disregard the pH of your aquarium and uh, just, you know, switch your fish. So this aquarium, I will make it uh, slowly but surely over time, uh, harder water and like higher pH. And this aquarium, since all my um, like soft water cichlids are now in here, I will have to remove a little bit of the hardness, um, which might have a little impact on my African cichlid, but uh, I will have to see. Uh, and it's going to be very gradual. I'm not just going to switch pH like that. Uh, that's a no-no. Uh, I did a big water change on all these aquarium prior to do uh, the move. So, um, you know, the pH have been a bit lowered here and, you know, it's a bit less acidic than it used to be in here as well. So um, I did that and now I'm going to balance these aquarium. But um, speak, just speaking generally 
of uh, aggression level, I seem to uh, have fixed my problem, which was to remove aggression or rather excessive uh, aggression because cichlids, you know them, they are mean in general. But, uh, you know, all the fish seems to like not want to kill each other. They don't like each other's, but they don't want to kill each other's. So that's probably the best I will ever achieve with cichlids. <laughs> Uh, if you want a peaceful aquarium, go with a community aquarium. This is way more easy to manage. Uh, even there, there is some aggression. Like this dude, don't like this dude, but I don't, like no one is really nipped in here. So, uh, but yeah, sometimes you have to do crazy mix, uh, but like mix that do sense. Uh, and so this is my best option so far but uh is it going to be perfect long term long term i'm not sure um i'm expecting i will maybe need a bigger aquarium for this to ha to uh, make more sense or you know what i might do is try to place the cichlid all together in a bigger aquarium and then have a bigger aquarium for pumpkin spice and these fish I'm not sure really not sure i don't want to lose my little neon tetras <laughs> And I know for sure that, that this dude can eat and has eaten small fish in the past. But um, yeah, let me know what you think of my solution so far. Would you have mixed embunas with peacock cichlid in the first place? Probably not. Uh, that was my mistake or rather lack of knowledge of cichlids. This is my first two aquarium with uh, African cichlid. But so far, so good in, in terms of um, like fixing problem before they occur and having cool behaviors, you know, uh, the fish are growing well and they are even breeding. So I must do something right for my cichlid to be breeding. I must, you know, have something figured out uh, and, you know, look at those. They are growing like crazy and um even then uh like they have beautiful colors um and you know they, they don't act differently than any other cichlid on youtube that i've seen so right now i'm not worried about my cichlid but you know maybe in the future this mix won't work so well so maybe i will try to reintroduce the uh, embunas and the peacock cichlid together but in a bigger aquarium that might be the final solution eventually um i don't want to have four aquarium though so maybe i will have to sell some of my smaller aquarium to like have two massive aquarium maybe that would be the pro the, the solution um but you know i'm i'm not really getting new fish or switching fish anymore that's not an option i want to take anymore uh, i did that a lot on my youtube uh, career uh, if you check out my my aquarium in my videos you will see that for like a span of like two or three years i just bought fish and fish and fish and switch and buy new one and exchange and breed them and sell them and you know just get some coupon from the uh the local fish store but really it's it was it was a waste of time, energy, money, and uh, I didn't grow to enjoy the uh, fish keeping uh, hobby anymore. But now that I have kind of stabilized my stocking of fish, uh, I am, and since I have a lot of diversity, so I have like American cichlid and African cichlid and like community fish, I kind of feel like I'm uh, in a good spot right now. Maybe the future step is going to be like monster fish, maybe an Oscar fish, that could be cool, or a Jack Dempsey. I, I do miss my Jack Dempsey. Um, so he was small like that, but you know, still miss the guy. So maybe that's a plan in the future, but for now, I'm very satisfied with the fish I have right now. And I hope you are uh, satisfied with the setups I have for my fish. So thanks for watching. Let's hope Pumpkin Spice doesn't destroy this aquarium altogether, but I think he's just enjoying quite a lot 
uh, his new hiding space and more space in general. Look at his color, he's super orange, so that's good. Uh, when he was with the Ambuna fish, he was getting nipped and stressed. So he's not nipped nor stressed in here. He's going to be probably the, the absolute boss of the aquarium. Uh, and I'm fine with that because he's not a bad boss. He's just mean. <laughs> but he's also like skittish. So it's a, it's a weird mix. He have a lot of personality for sure. What are you doing? He have a lot of personality for sure. So this aquarium, I think he's going to be perfect for him and you know the, the last thing you can say is okay but this catfish uh, he needs a 55 gallon at least and this is only a 44 but frankly um, he doesn't use a lot of space he have his little uh, hiding space over here and he's not a big swimmer compared to pumpkin spice and since those two fish are pretty much the same size I prefer to give more space to the more active fish and more hiding space for the uh, hiding fish if that makes sense and you know you still have plenty of space you know he's not lacking space he's not like like he, he can turn well and he's not stunt he's he's uh, seven inch long at this point i just measure him uh and like from the tip of his tail to the tip of his uh whiskers is 22 centimeters so quite the fish but um you know i think he's going to do well i wish he would have like enjoyed pumpkin spice or i wish these dudes were not aggressive but sometimes you know fish are fish they do what they want and we need to adapt to them it's not uh the fish that needs to adapt to us if that makes sense anyway love you all like comment subscribe and i will see you all pretty soon in other videos like these.